do like the logo. But again, nice little subtle. You just get that, uh, that tail in there. Just, a, just, just get a little tasteful tail yeah. in there. It's a tasteful tail. It's usually a different kind of community than the Counter-Strike one, but you know, whatever floats your boat, we don't judge here. I uh, love this dually skin. That just looks like the, the racing livery. It's a good one. Looks like you would house a nice tasty snack, I feel like. The only tasty snack that are in those dual Berettas is some lead ready for red cannons. They haven't gotten past the smoke though, and those dual Berettas are ready to sing alongside the USPs that are close behind it. They have been stalled out, they've been broken down, I don't know if you want to commit to this. I don't know if they quite realize how many players are here, but it's everybody. It, it is all of VP is just on the other side of these smokes. The bomb is still up here. Uh, There's mm. no utility either. Bye bye. It's a long fall. Bye bye, Venom Zero. Okay, Ooh. now if I think they it always spreads okay. the defense out. Yeah, this is nice. This is not bad. VP go. Okay, we're not seeing anything. Go back into the default. I had to do the early read react, but actually this patience from Red Canids has spread this back out, given the opportunity. Problem is electronic here by Quad. He's a little further back. Fame's gonna presumably be the initial spot. And then we activate the electronic. He's not gonna get anything out of that somehow. Uh, okay. That's a little tough. Looked like he was bang on, but couldn't finish off Fame. And now while well, Fame will find one, it is answered. Bombs down, ticking over. Away. The 2v2, Fame and Coldzera both very low. Davideus, four bullets in the gun. It's got to be headshots. One. Oh, final bullet in. He will connect on the Norbert. Now there's just no health for Fame. It's not happening. It looked like indeed an impossible round. They, they got smoked off. They got isolated. But there's a little experience out of uh, Red Canids. They slowed the round down. They don't walk into the stack. They don't force it. Because they throw all of their execute utility, their flashes to entry on in, and that can make you feel like, okay, well, we got to go now. What are we going to do? We so, don't have any utility. I know you were saying it earlier. Has Dovey Deus dropped the Deus? He's just Dovey now? Uh, sometimes I just call him David to make it. He was there easier. in the kill count, too. But uh, oh, he has not dropped the Deus. Okay. Still the still god. Still a deity. Deus. Yeah. He's still kicking with it, and it's fair. He is good. Good in that pistol, certainly. Three on the board. Nade on to fame. As the dar gets chunked up, Cold Zero taking space in towards mid. The swing ramp. Finding a whole lot of firepower on the other side. As Cold Zero continues to chunk up this space in towards mid, he's going to realize it is the full A stack. The question becomes, do you want to just try and kill everybody on A? That would be fun. That'd be the most fun way to play the round. For your KD, or your stats. That's cold. Might not be as fun for cold. I always forget that door's closed up until I see somebody look at it. This map is a bit weird nowadays. A little questionable. Yeah. Well, you know what? It is an active construction site. It makes sense that they're changing the floor plan. It's been an active construction site for a long time now. I think they've opened they up the concept and elevator. Or something. They just keep on building. Keep on building. They keep on changing the floor plan, and so the, these poor uh, workers, you know, they just can't ever get a progress going. And they keep on falling off the, the building as well. There's a lot of accidents. Maybe that's what the hangup is. They keep getting shut down by OSHA. Yeah. Guys, how many times do we have to tell you? Clip in. Oh, that's, that's partially probably the problem right here. I mean, are we serious? This cannot be approved. What's in the cooler? What's in the cooler is a real question. Yeah. On a work site? Seems pretty chill. I'd like to grill burgers up on top of a crane. And maybe there's some white monsters to keep the uh, the energy high. Mmm. And that cooler. Gotta be done. What's you? Are you a are you a grill master? Cool. No. Famous. He's grilling them right now. Cooking them up. They've got the little little char marks on them. It's Henny right now. He's looking to maybe get served. Space in towards mid taken here by the Red Kids. They got some ground. Coldzera could go over the berm. It's Jame shifting back to address that, but Fame down low. Does the flashbang catch? It does. He doesn't care, though. That's Electronics cool. able to follow it up. They don't wait for that mid presence, and now that's a problem. Coldzera dead. Venom Zera to follow him. I don't think I've ever even really used a grill before. You've never used a grill before? I, I have once 
actually you used a grill once i think on it was to make pancakes you grilled with pan it wasn't what? like it was like a different top on the grill it was just like this like flat you put top. the flat top on yeah you used a grill to make i pancakes. made i made pancakes yeah that was the only time gotta say that is not what most people would probably do for their only grilling experience yeah they were good pancakes good pancakes all right first one was a little rough but we got better and that's They're usually how it goes maybe griddle cakes if you do them that way they're not in a pan that's a good point inherently the gritty cakes gritty cakes grill grill cakes never grilled hmm hmm it's one of that oh hang on they just keep on taking the space in the b side this is quite nice because i feel like vp understanding what the possibilities are for this map and usually it's very strong b executes that gets you a lot of space that gets you ground it's a big adaption that teams have had to get into on this t side but vp reading into this and just taking charge making sure that they can't get this phase of the map control cold zero might be welcoming a surprise as he gets tested in the latter side of things and he passes that test he does indeed. So the patience from Coldzera is rewarded. But he still can't really get active to help his teammates out. It's going to be James holding the line. That does mean that Electronic's isolated. Flit coming back to adjust to support with that deep angle from Norbert. Here comes the util. That's confirmation. Electronic, though, isolates the first. Gets forward to do so. What? Was that fight from Jame? Um, can I guess that was a scroll wheel issue? That might have been a scroll wheeler. Might have been a mechanical failure. Problem is, they may not be able to capitalize. Colzera is still super slow into this, and all of his teammates are dead before Colzera can actually do anything about this round. So, um, yeah, I mean, he gets his two kills. He got his. He got his. He's out there like, guys, I got mine, but uh, they don't actually really help. So he's not going to be able to do anything except save. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate there. The, the B injuries don't come through, and that's the power of Electronic. He's still just such an incredible rifler. And he can step up like that. Yeah, that's one of the only things I don't love about this place. Is uh, I'm f specifically forbidden from having a grill in my lease. Yeah, I mean, I I also uh, actually I don't know for sure, but I imagine that's the case. You don't have an outside space, do you? Yeah, I have a back porch or deck. I think is what I learned yesterday. Is it up on top of a yeah. little space. Yeah, grill's a little a little frisky there. People do it. Yeah. I understand why I'm forbidden from having a grill. I don't exactly have a lot of outdoor space. Um, you got, they'd rather you got some cement area there. Yeah, no, it could be done. Reasonably even. But they'd rather I didn't burn this house down. And I think that that is reasonable, even if I dislike it. Do they know how good a grilled burger is, though? They, they don't know about my skills on the grill. So I don't what's, know. what's your go-to grill spot? Grill spot? You mean, yeah. like, when, where do I grill? Yeah, where do you grill? At my, you at my grill. parents' place. Uh-huh. There it is. Back in the days where I, when I lived with them. There it is. But there's there's a lot. The grill is just a it's a wonderful summertime tool. Good time. Well, yeah, I would just be, I would be the recipient of someone else grilling. Yeah. When I lived with my parents. That's your preferred technique. Yeah. Uh, I like anything with open flame. You know, something primal. You love uh, s'mores. I do love a s'more. Let me tell you about this thing called a campfire. Big fan. Flit, electronic. Keeping this limited. There is no real danger in this round. Red Kinid's very timid in this pistol. Just kind of going back and forth, never really gaining anything actually to really threaten. And uh, shockingly, that's not going to work out. I kind of just want to see them full five hit something. They're doing this sort of I'll back spawn. and forth, back and forth. Hope you aggress too far into us and then we can punish kind of thing. Yeah. I, if VP's just not the team that's going to give it to you. I'd like to see him test a little bit towards A because the resources that I'm seeing VP spend early on towards B are very sharp. They, they've got a lot of numbers there, right? It's. I understand the idea. And you want to practice like you play and play like you practiced and all that. But if you're going to play a long, slow patience game, this is not the team to do it against. That's a good point. They're just better at it than anyone else. Even with their... Like, it, it's just their core identity, right? If you want to wait the first minute 30 of every round, VP will not be the ones to test you on that. Not going to give you any grace in that sense, that's for sure. 
they are going to test this A side. Ooh. Norbert gets a lot of info. I like this. Moving with a minute, taking some actual space. Good flashbang, but there's no peek off of it, so no harm, no foul for Red Canids. To gaining this ground, minute on the clock. No one's rotating in for VP yet, despite I don't think Norbert saw all of them. I think he just saw the player in the box. What we've seen a lot now on Vertigo is priority for side hall control as well. Here comes the adjustment. Players on in. James coming in the joint as well, so they'll have four here in the defense. And yeah, Norbert is just trying to hold on to the side hall. 35 seconds. That Molly does nothing. Ow. He's matrixing these bullets here, completely dodging it. And again, they still have this crucial control. So you got to walk into the meat grinder of this A-bomb. So it is impossible to get past Flit. Knocks everyone down. Norbert finally gets his chance to strike from Seidel. But that is the difficulty of Vertigo in the modern era. Yeah, I also want to say there's a lot being thrown there from Red Kinnets, right? There's smokes all over, but they're so slow. Now, by the time they're actually hitting, their smokes are starting to fade. They're leaving the exposed. The flashbangs don't really catch. I, I'm just not really that... There's not that much oomph behind these takes, right? Like, they're, they're not really getting into the fights. You uh, Again, a relatively inexperienced team. Team that doesn't get it. I mean, not the individuals, but I mean as a collective. They don't get these opportunities that often. So, maybe you're just really trying to make sure you don't make mistakes. But it just feels, it doesn't feel explosive. Well, let's try and get explosive now. Here we go. With the pistols, could be the move. They're running into Flit again. This guy has become a monster. 3k. And again, VP got the protocols to deal with that. Wow. Lotion. Uh, 12 and 2 now for Flit. Married man meta for Flit. Got married in the player break. Now he's 12 and 2 right Buff. You would know about that. Yeah. Is a buff. I mean, what do you want to do as well if you're Redkin is? You go ramp, it's flit. You go B, it's electronic. <laughs> you go anywhere in towards mid, James probably in your walls. And that is maybe on these gun rounds the only place that we've seen opening success though. Cold has gotten two kills in that department. And that was in a round where those two kills really didn't matter. Yeah. And coach getting active. Saying, I don't know, bro, shoot him. <laughs> that is what coaches do. <laughs> that's that's usually what they, they are saying. <laughs> and when Electronic was missing earlier, he, he got mad at his coach. He didn't listen. Didn't listen. You gotta listen. You don't got to. It's recommended. <laughs> Any with the AWP, now it's his chance. Yeah. Let's see, with these mid lurks again. Oh, that's a connection. One HP, of course, though. Because they're going to abandon the mid presence. Seems like they're going to group up. They got no other element to this. Did get the tag on the flit. That sends flit moving. VPR backing away off of this. For once, Red Knits seem primed to hit the light sight. Molotov to rumble them, though. They gotta go. They're expecting a boost back in. Here's your opportunity to strike. You've got the moment. You've got the initial ground. Here comes the utility. Gotta go. Ah. Gotta hit. Flashbang to stall them out. Again, they're just getting stalled. They're getting slow. Venom Zara is eating nades. They're trying to throw every piece of utility they possibly have, but at some point, you just gotta move, and this time they will. And this time they will. Fame silence to just one flip, one HP. VP are out of there. They've done it, man. I, I mean, again, and a lot of credit to making those movements in time, but also being able to capture Norbert in this side all fight. It is so crucial that the D side can now fight back for that control, and they, they get it. Cold Zera available alongside Venom Zera to find those entries to make it happen. And it was it was looking like it could have been a classic case of the, the problems we have faced, but this time around they're able to just button up with some of these openings. And I think it helps a lot that Flit is playing so passive mm. because he's down so low. 
that that probably is just the adjustment. We got electronic with a late nade maybe to try and to get some exits. Like the idea, not quite enough purchase. Not a bad idea. Good idea. Great. The electronic nade, we could have called it. Just, just a graffiti there of a lightning bolt. Yeah. There you go. There's a flash from Henny. It looked like just on the fly. You saw that underhand flash that he threw over the wall? It actually did so much to, you know, boost the confidence of Venom Zare on those peaks. So there, that's the way it's supposed to work out. You catch players off guard, you take that space, but they don't bring the numbers over. I think VP may be a little slow to read that, but again, I think your point about Flit being damaged up and not having that early information is huge. That's the way it's supposed to work for Red Knights with this slower pace of play. This time there's two players in towards mid, which should mean that Cold Zera and Venom Zera are getting a little more active with it. The Zeras. The Zeras. They're Let's middle. It's going to be their era. Zer era. Zera era. Beware the Zera era. Look at this. Tronic. They are really trying to kill Electronic. Get out of here! No, I know where he is. Scram! It's like slamming on the trash can to chase out the raccoons. You yeah. Know? They're, just, they're just making a ton of noise there, and he's like, ah, ah, ah. Not about it. It didn't really rattle that Scamper. much. They eventually did fall away, but there's so much resources used to try and flush him out of position. It's going to limit the execute, but not completely nullify it. The flit sticks around here with Norbert. We got the boost. Oh, it's been spotted. Oh, ouch. Knocked off the boost. Molly's and reactions are in. There's four players on B. And I don't know if we're going to see a reroute. They got to do some. Oh, air burst. Molly, that definitely doesn't help. They're using every piece of utility that has ever existed in this take. Throwing every nade. But this middle player, they've been bottlenecked. Now fame strikes first. Electronic to one two punch. They're not on the same page. So Electronic even puts down fame for extra effort, but it's just not happening. It's just, this is the problem with Red Canids. It's disjointed, right? They're not going together. There's all this utility being thrown out, but because it's so slow, it's like, I'm going to throw one thing, and then the other thing, and then I'm going to throw the other thing. It's like, we know where you're going. This is the easiest thing to read. Yeah, they're, they're becoming incredibly predictable right now, and it's a huge problem. Calling in another timeout, I believe, to try and nullify this fact here. Try and get a bit of unpredictable. But uh, they just can't seem to close it out. And there's an understandable smile. He's laughing. I mean, it just feels like they know exactly what the next move is going to be made. The, the full execute getting shut down is certainly something to smile about. When you have four players ready to defend on this squad and Red Cannons keep on running into the brick wall on these gun rounds. It is interesting that Nython's calling for this roster, right? I mean, he was on the op before it pushed off it of was, it to give it over to Henny. It was real bad with the op on calling. Yeah. I, th I thought he was actually one of the more efficient, aggressive riflers, or oppers, back when he was playing for the Pain Squad. Yeah. But his calling with the AWP, like, he would miss everything. And so I'm glad they got Henny at least as an adjustment. His calling is still kind of up in the air, as, as you can see. There is still some question marks around the, the T-side depth that this roster has, but... Yeah. Can't say I've been terribly impressed by this map so far. And it is, uh, reminder folks, their map pick. So, read into that what you will. Get them on T-side, I will say. Yeah? They're, they're a little bit better when it comes to the defense, and quite a bit better, in fact. Some utility being shuffled around here for VP. Oh, this boost. Is it going to cause any They've disruption? This boost, though, but this time they don't! No! They've been spending so long staring at that boost, but right when VP go for it, nobody's got eyes on. Two players pay the penalty. Somehow that nade doesn't chunk knife on. But Davideus is lost, and just bit by bit, this one's falling apart again. Dinked up. Kill feels like an inevitability. We need some vintage called Zera to make this happen. And, well, he will be vintagely headshot. Yeesh. Yeah, there's just no concerns on this. 
CT said it all, only giving over a single gun round so far. Came at the helm of a, maybe a Henny opening tag. And finally forcing a little bit of fear into VP, but that's the only round we've seen them show fear. The only round we've seen them show vulnerability, and they've patched it up very quickly. That's the rifling core right now, right? Flit, leading, fame, and electronic, very close at hand. Team with just a couple of key picks that make the job easier for these riflers. Just east. And Norbert, well, he doesn't have a lot of kills. Boy, does he know how to keep side all control. Yes. He's just doing the, the job super effectively. My king, Norbert. Knows he doesn't have to be up there in the stat sheet. Because he's up there in our hearts. You can watch his impact in the server. It, it's just not been a, an option. The only round that they've been able to get past him is around that right cannon's one. You know the old saying. No Norbert. No Major. Chain! Connects the first. Goodbye, Nython. And a nice little HE to back it up there. Hold that, Henny. Alvin and Zara looking for a move and a flashbang to queue them all up on the aggro. They don't even know electronics here. They don't have anything to really flush him out either. They should know he's here because he's always here, right? If you haven't seen electronic on me yet, he's probably quad. But that doesn't matter if you can't shoot him. And those flashbangs are a lethal. So B take shut down. Surprise, surprise. Code Zara last alive coming through mid late. I have seen this one before. And this time, keep anything available into the last round. It is going to be Cold Zero backing away. Man. I hate reruns. Yeah. Feels like we got in this one rerun quite a few times. Ooh. Seen this before. It's tucking. If you like reruns, so. You can watch this VOD back on Face It Watch. Hey! Zing! Bada bing! Bada boo! But, uh, if you've seen one be execute so far, you've seen them all. <laughs> they have all looked like it. It is another solid defense from Electronic. He's not alone, though. He's got a lot of help. And that help, the supportive utility with the flashes, with the, the mid holds. It's all just so, so nice for VP. That's nice. Dink on to Jame. Last time they were able to put someone down low, it finally forced a little bit of panic. There we go. Cold Zara getting active before the round's already been decided. Tip for the spear this time. Man advantage given over as Henny's able to trade him. Got a little bit of juice here for the Red Canids. Oh. I gotta capitalize, though. Flitz getting aggro. Flitz taking the space. That's giving so much information on. That's the fast flank as well. But Henny is actually watching for this. No, he pulls away just the wrong moment. Oh, oh, Norbert's not cleared. It wasn't electronic, so they thought, surely not. But now a low HP Jane walking through the smoke. He will get checked. And there is a fourth round, something to build on to send us to the half.
and we're back in, but a little bit of sweetness on the end. Maybe that just gives them enough of a base to battle through. It was all smiles for VP. That's not how I'm used to seeing VP. It isn't quite, but they have a lot to smile about in that half in terms of reading in and now kind of knowing what to expect from Red Cannons. I think maybe even for the remainder of the series, these slow play styles, a little late cold Zera lurk. It's a formula that they've stuck with here. Maybe not a winning one, at least in this case, but they get one in the end. They get one in the end and it was with a big adjustment and they got four T-side rounds. My, maybe that's enough. I mean, they, they went fast with cold Zera and that worked. It's amazing what what can happen. Uh. You mix up the pacing here. Ooh. I will say though, Flit, this dude has been monstrous. I mean, you look at that that core that's going to be coming your way. When you look at that right fling pack here, if Flit's hitting like he is, good luck. Good luck, because now you got electronic hitting as well, and fame hitting, and fame hitting. I mean, They're all hitting. <laughs> everyone's hitting, and Norbert's flashing, and Norbert is flashing, and he's containing a side hall. What else do you need? Norbert does and his Jammer job. Flashing. And he does it well. We'll see if... Uh... Big flasher energy. <laughs> <laughs> Jim and Norbert, they got that high-low peak in real life. Yeah. And here they go. Venom Zara under pressure. Oh, deleted. Fame ain't missing, E ain't missing on the second either, and this B-side defense is gone. Davide is going to try and d -d -d do something about it, but it's not looking g -g -g good for him. And indeed, there's nothing doing. Oh, go get your ace, Fame. Get it? Go get your get ace. It. Oh, we got it! Man. That's incredible. That's some Glocks. Glocks. I was trying to hit like a little remix. Yeah, no. The cast I there. saw it. Did not. I don't know. We're going to your DJ career there? Getting, uh, I don't know about that one. I think you can make a good DJ. I'm... I don't know. I feel like the history of DJs at CS events is fraught with peril. You don't have to DJ CS events. You can just DJ in general. There you go. There's only one DJ. You ruined my heart. He's Mr. DJ Prius Kuntz. Even though he's left us mostly. We'll get him back one day. I think he did a best of three in ECL last year with me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He just hopped in for the lols? On the C-stream. On the C-stream? Yeah. They had him kicked out to the C-stream. How far the mighty have fallen. <laughs> That's what happens when you... And we don't even straight. know what the C stands for. C stands for... Koo... The cool stream. Well, they only had pistols. They went for a stack. You can't blame them, but you can say, better luck next time, Buster. And that's what you're going to say this time. The dice don't go up their way. They don't get the, the lucky roll. James just gonna spam the smoke. You got 35 bullets, why not? Go get those Ecos, they're free. All you have to do is keep James holding buys, one. It, buys the Galil because it's a better value for the ammo. He's always doing the math. Oh, hold on. Norbert doing some math here saying, I'm gonna make some money. It's the wrong way to the Ecos, Norbert. Hunt the Ecos, Norbert. There you, you go. You can have them. You can oh, have these. He's got them. They're free. These are for oh. you. It's like samples it. Costco, they're free. If you think about how many Mac 10 kills he just got, that's six flashes. That math checks out. Tr trust checks me. Out. No, don't give me out. that base. Don't give me that base. It that checks map. out. Six flashes. That's six flashes right there. Impact. And we are still happy on VP. Why not? It's been easy. Oh, yes. Careful. Don't drop it. Don't drop it warmly. Full. Keep a good grip on those warmlies. I know they can get the hands sweaty. But don't drop them. They're pretty solid. Having dropped them before, it's a good way to make a dent in your floor. Got your hand warmers all the way out here? They're somewhere. Look at this. I mean, it's so quick. Complete opposite. Fame. It is full steam ahead on another gun round. 
and you see a roll reverse. It looks like red cannons mm. are the ones trying to get away with this, you know, VPS style. Meanwhile, VP are pushing into the site with a full minute left on the clock. I mean, it's just that classic thing of like, okay, we have gone to our first base in the strap book. That strap book is entry B, win round. It's working. We will not be going to the second page until you force us to. <laughs> oh, they're going to get some exits here. Quite a bit of them, in fact. Henny's down low. I mean, this could be a bit of a quick end on this map as the money is going to be in a disastrous state. And VP, the flow chart, is fame go kill so far on this T side. It's really effective. You throw a flash frame behind him and fame headshots too. Turns out that is most round one. Norbert's done it again. By God, he's done it again. The mastermind. <laughs> they think it's Jame. They think it's Jame, but they don't know. They don't know who's really making it all happen. What's there to complain about? Except for maybe you would have liked another Mac 10. That would have been after that three Mac more flashes. Spray. After that Mac 10 spray, he was like, the heck? Where'd my oh. bullets go? No. Oh. The Mac 10 is either a laser beam or it's what the heck. I Looney Tunes them. Where'd my bullets go? Yeah. There's no in between. You got everybody here on me. They're like, we will not allow Fame to just double headshot us round over again. Instead, it'll be electronic to double body spray, and then Fame gets the headshot. And the stack, I like the idea. You had to do something. They've been punishing you on B. You try and take the space. You just don't have the weaponry for it. Finally, Fame is dead. Don't think it's going to tip this round, but at least they found a punish. It's going to be map point on. Eight chances to close. Wouldn't bet against them needing just one. Not with how they're looking right now. Just keep on taking that B side. Just keep on taking that B side. Doesn't matter what you're up against. Mm. Electronic will handle the first phase. Fame comes in for the return. It is just so comfortable. The playbook here is super straightforward. Careful. Careful. Can't be doing that. Doing what now? We, we overextend for the uh, the fist bump. You mm. gotta make sure that it's uh, reciprocated. Maintain synergy at all costs. Even when the frustrations are high. Now Cold Zero trying to get vocal, but I really don't know what can be said to... Every Cold Zero pump-up speech is just, you remember that time? Man, Mirage, jumping no-scope. You remember that miracle moment? If I did that, we can do this. Let's go. And they're all just like, Coltsera, we've heard this speech like 87 times, bro. You've got to come up with more material. It's not going to help us versus fame. Fame fame is headshot. That's all he's doing. He's just, fame he's just is shoot headshot. up the headshots. This dude's got the HSP out the wazoo. David is headshot now. They've got a huge gap inside, although. Flit. Oh, not going to win that duel, though. The gap looking to be filled. Now James fills the void of that missed opportunity. Flashbang for the re -aggro and hunting the kill. There's Venom Zara. They got stuck. Stuck inside. Oh, there's a traffic jam going on. A VP pile up. And a tall knight on to likely secure this round. The, uh, the flow chart had to be whipped out. It was fame, go kill B. He, he accomplished that task, but he didn't get the required two. So then they say, flit, go kill A. Oy. He doesn't get his. What's the next phase of the flow chart? Well, we know it. It's jam time. He will be jamming. Wait, this is our first jam time of the map. It is. Shout outs to jam. Keeping and he it. played a whole CT half. He did. He never needed to. They just killed everybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Turns out you don't need the jam. Either time. that or he got killed. I think there was maybe one round where he could have thought about it. It was that mid re aggro, I think. Yeah, where he, he gets stinked up ramp early and yeah. then they, Yeah. But at that point, it doesn't matter. Actually, was he alive there? No, I think he was down. I think he fell on the A hold. Mm, okay. Either way. <laughs> One Jame time as a treat. Come on, Jame. You got to keep the brand strong. Shout out to YouTube. 
Fame has been a little too Is James strong. James on TikTok yet? I feel like it's only. I haven't seen him on my page yet. Not on your FYP. Yeah. I feel like that's. I get some Counter Strike content here or there. Okay, fast into the play, but it's fame again. This time, not headshotting. It's not good for the HSP. It is good for the round, though. He's getting another entry kill. Fame what just chewing up this base. Venom Zara's dead to his own nade. No. No. That has to have been what that was, right? There's a molly. I, th yeah, I saw ticking. I Maybe saw his HP just, you know, disappear pretty fast. Okay. Well, uh, that's not how you want this to go if you're Red Kinids. It is... If you're VP. It's my deep analysis here. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, that kind of disrupts the flow chart, though, you know? Oh, now, what, what does it mean cement. when... Nython's about to serve himself up. Serve himself up, and Flit will be eaten a double serving. Mm. Num, 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 num. Because this one could just be done. Colzera, desperation. Colzera, now last man alive. The only man who could do anything for the Canids, and he will find nothing. Blanked out of the round, smashed out of their own map pick. The red Canids are looking a little threadbare. But let's go. It's going to be uh, the same old, same old. Or are we going to see a little bit more intensity? Well, at least we'll get to see a CT side out of him. We won't see as many cold zero lurks on the defense. That is a, another new variation on the smokes. A top of door smoke mm. being tossed on in there to ensure that it covers the entirety. A variation on the Xbox smoke in the the modern dust two days. You know what I guarantee? You know how everyone is, was complaining about jump turbines being gone? Here's how I imagine the conversation went in the VP camp. Okay, jump throw binds are gone. Learn how to jump throw. If any of you miss a smoke, off the team. Boom, problem solved immediately. That's from the perspective of Jim, by the way. Just no mercy, no forgiveness for mechanical errors. If you mess up his strats, straight execution. Here we go. Execution on towards the sides. What they're looking for. Coldzera, though, able to chime in massively here. No stalling it out. This time, Electronic will give himself a chance to plant the bomb, though. He will get this plant off. And though Coldzera, Davideos, and Nithon all did work, they have left one man alive, and that man can be electric in the server. Goes forward into the fight. He's not got armor, though. So sustained engagement's not what he's looking for. Dancing around, looking for these headshots. They're playing together. Oh, but he's trying to find home and cannot connect. The Glock will not bring that round through. It will be a pistol round for the Brazilians. Run down by Henny to close it out. That's a great setup. You got Cold Zero taking that first point of contact as well. It's what I want, man. He's so good. We all know he's so good. He's yes. Cold Zero. He's the best player in the world for two years running, right? I just want to see him fight in rounds before the round's already been decided. I think you, you feel how I feel about uh, Krimbo, about Cold Zera. You just want to see him get a little more activated. And we did see that at a big earlier today. But now you want it from Cold Zera as well. Yes. And I, I do think it's a very clear win condition. It's one that you can rely on. It's one that you would like to see pop up a little more on this Red Cannon's roster. So much responsibility put on... You know, a player like David's shoulders right now. Oh, look at the space. Look at the space that they've got. How did he... If the bomb crosses with them, none of those shots land. If the bomb makes it up catwalk, this is big trouble. Big, 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 big trouble. They've still got a bunch of utility. Okay, the adjustment back in, the smoke back on. This is good. This is a good read from the Canids, but I think they're still in a lot of trouble. Four flashes, two smokes, two mollies. Oof. That's a nasty execute. Armor on everybody. I'm very nervous. Resmoke on is good. That's very nice. There's still a minute, though. VP don't have to rush this. And the problem, Cole, is look at this. There's no vision in towards tunnels. There's no vision, no, no push into the longhouse. They don't have any information. They got no vision mid. All they know is that the hit hasn't come yet, but it's VP. That could just mean they're sitting in tunnels. I'm finally ready to unleash this utility. Flint lining something up. Same case for Norbert. They're going to get explosive on this with that full belt that we had highlighted. 
They're pre-lining up the shoot, so Cold gets blocked by the smoke oh. for just a second, and they're going to dive past him here. They can't jump down, but it does come at a cost of Henny. Now Cold looking to activate late in that smoke. He has a couple headshots lined up, a surprise for them, but eventually limited. Nullified the two kills, but also buying time. The bomb plant yet to go down. There's no HEs to deny, though, and they're going to walk through. Spawn David somehow threads that kill. It's a tough fight, but he wins it. It's going to be on Fame shoulders to do a lot of heavy lifting in this round. He's got to knock some more heads off, and they're chasing him down, running him out of the server, and it will be successfully retaken by Red Canids. That's a hard retake, though. Yeah. He's got his feet up on that. On the baskets. Uh, look, Coldzera, you want to bait like that? Bait away. That was sick. That was a super cool play. Little little hop up from down below. Even got hit by the one smoke they threw. Yeah. Pops up, gets in, finds himself the space, wraps around and takes two. If you'd find the third, even cooler. But, man, that was sick. That was a little vintage. I like that maneuver. Oh, the energy has to be there now. Getting past that round, you gotta build a little bit of life into this team. And closing out with confidence like that, having that cold zero impact. Honestly, alongside it, having David come through with some more efficiency. Those two players combining their efforts could be a winning formula for Red Cannons. A lot more active. This time a slower approach, VP. Patient in the rounds. Once again. We'll see what they can make of this. I mean, is there, there going to be an info play from Venom's there? It seems like he's interested in that idea. Got to be careful, though, because the contact is going to be taken soon. That smoke goes down. Jame gets identified with his scout, and there isn't quite a lot of information past that point. No one else making any noise. Only the scout identified so far. Only James spotted in tons. There's no more smokes for the CT side. We're going to get this B hit. We're going to get this B hit. And there's going to be flit left in towards mid. There's going to be the cross smoke thrown. Flashbang behind it. It's pretty good. I think you need to farm up some kills. Venom Zero does get the one. Davideus is burning. Can't follow it up. This might just be a save. Oh, it's definitely a save now. Morper. Tired of throwing those flashes. He wants to get involved. And that he does. What a great entry path and coming through. That's a tag that landed by Jame out of the gates. And sure, I mean, it's a nice position from Venom Zero if you're healthy. But when you're 30 HP, a trade can become so quick. And now here's going to be your problems, right? That last round got expensive. So you, you've had two four spies in a row for VP, but they've had the sustained plants, they've had the sustained damage. The money's cracked for Red Canades. And not Stacking like... up that loss bonus. Yeah, yeah. So... Uh, it's no good. It's not ideal. You're leaking. You got these two guns. You're probably honestly going to force around them. I feel like we just played the same round. Back different to back, site. but a different site, yeah. <laughs> Because, I mean, the positions were so similar, except for, you know, Cold not playing as aggressively towards Catwalk, but it's the same about an information denial. It's, I wouldn't even say denial, it's a, maybe a lack of proactivity from Red Cannon. So they're playing just this 3-2 split, hoping that the sites can hold down. Maybe not the, the worst idea up against, like, full ecos, but these are four spies that VP are throwing out, and I think I need to see a little more initiative in the map control for Red Cannons if they want to be more successful. Kaldzera's getting vocal. Having a conversation for what he, what he wants to see here. Right, he's giving up the primary reins here, but he's definitely still uh, going to be a strong voice in this roster. Just the gravitas that he holds within any team he joins. But the real gravitas on the server, Norbert. The real impact. He can do it all. They can certainly hold down long effectively. Electronic. He, it just kept on looking like he wanted to, and then would get caught by another bit of utility. The smoke is eventually what will seal the decision for him. 
But again, it's one of these situations where map is a little bit quiet. This time, though, there's cat re-aggression coming through at the least. Mm -hmm. Bulls down range. They know they're here. But Cold Zero is still pressing forward. Still setting this up. This double setup. Molotov to rumble the second player. That's going to leave Cold Zero isolated. If there's a flashbang here, he's in trouble. The scout's trying to come over to support. Still does get the one. Flashbang didn't catch. That's nicely done from Cold Zero. At least to give them something and to rebuff. VP have lost their appetite for cat. More dog people anyway. Smoked off as well. The regression through tunnels. This is good news, but now it does leave Long vulnerable. It's going to challenge any scout work. But this scout, this this smoke through mid isn't really going to rumble them that much with this tunnel's control from Venom Zera. Yeah, it's just a 5-7, but the positioning is huge. And now they've denied catwalk as well. So Long's going to be taken. Seconds. They got to go quick. They got to go quick. Oh, There's the man. scout that peeks out. That's exactly what Henny was waiting for. The bomb has to cross him. And it's just not the time. They have to go through a smoke. They will find this kill. So it's pressure on a Henny. He knows he's in trouble. But he's still going to put some damage down range. If he could drop that bomb, this round is over. It might be anyway. The bomb has to cross open in the wide open. It falls to Venom's out. Do they have time? Do they have time? No. No. Not enough. Not enough. A flash to chase, and Venom Zera will steal this round away. <laughs> That's just pure chaos. And pure fear. And the VP, as they watch the timer tick down against them. Red Cannons. Forcing them to make moves they're not comfortable with. Cold Zera, as you said, some value on this catwalk position. Haney with a lot of value out of this scout. Gets so much disruption. Certainly a round of applause deserved for a successful defensive round. Now everyone is positioning towards tunnels. This time we got the Gator of David and lower tons. This could be fun because he's going to get challenged. He's got this off angle. No, no, no fun for you. It's tough to use the auto shotgun when the other team is just hitting so many headshots. It's not as effective when... Uh, you're playing up against people that can instantly respond. The flashes and the execution, but Henny's also hitting headshots with this scout again. So much value. And Jame not healthy enough to peek forward here. The flashes are good. Return is true. And Jame gonna call this playoff because long aggression is coming through. Electronics on the other half of the map, taking space and catching sides. Turn, it's not clean, but it will be a kill. He didn't have armor, he got aim punched, but it puts it into a man up. Tag back the other way. I mean, look at the collective health, right? There's three players alive, and they've maybe got 100 between them. Oh, Jame. Jame, though, does connect. So, all into Henny. That scout is an op in this context. Is he going to have an appetite for it? They have a smoke for the cross. Okay. I was going to say, could get real weird if he shoots them through door. Drop the smoke. There we go. And I don't think Henny's going to go for this. Would be a lot of ground to cover to even get back into the action. Yeah. I think they just threw the uh, the Rushley smoke there. They were watching. They might have been watching. I was watching Rush. I was watching Rushley. I was Watch watching when he taught the future pros. <laughs> I take responsibility and get on the observer. What about that smoke? Who taught any of that one? Uh, basic understanding of geometry, I think. That one's, that one's not exactly the deep tech. When it, when it, whenever you're dealing with, uh, B doors, you gotta say trigonometry. If you ever wonder what the inspiration for the Hey Future Pro series, it's actually just Rush's campaign, Rush's campaign to slowly improve his teammates at matchmaking, or in, uh, in, in Pugs. It's what it's all about. Is it working? I, you would have to ask him if the collective... I would say the collective utility of the average Counter-Strike player has risen massively in the last few years. Mm. And I think, honestly, you know, yeah. some people want to credit, like, Astralis, some people want to credit this. I think we can credit Rushley. That's fair. And only Rushley. Rushley cultural impact. Nart? Who? Not out here. Rushley's my goat. Not out here. Not out here. That's his actually uh, um, out of office email. Yeah. On his, on his email account, it's just not out here.
That's when he's on vacation. I don't think he takes a lot of those. He's kind of a grinder. No. If he did, you never know. He'll just queue up the videos for you. You throw a flashbang in. Yeah, Robo, Robo Narch just making those videos. He's got it scheduled. He's actually got all these videos scheduled for the next year. He's, he's been taking the year off, little do you know. He, he knows what's going to happen to the demos before they happen. Yes. He uses predictive AI to make them. <laughs> How is this game going to pan out? I wonder if he has any ideas. The future. Art's living in 2027. We're all still throwing smokes from 2024. This one from Norbert. Oh. Coldzera, is he going to oh. do it again? He's going to do it again. He's going to do it. No, he plays the edge of it this time. He's like, I can't get away with... Oh. Ooh. Do they check? Do they check? He got spotted. Yeah, they saw him. Spotted. They saw him. Hey, hey, fool me once. Fool me twice. You can't get fooled again. I respect the hustle trying to go back for that. I, I he's like, okay, I gotta mix it up a little bit. I'll stay on the edge of the smoke. I gotta, I gotta vary it just a little bit. But Flit was familiar with his game. I apologize. I'm familiar with your game. That's kind of a delivery rifle. I think Venom Zara will take that deal. Actually, you take my teammate, I get an AK. Sure. Good exchange. I take that deal. This has been, for the Red Canids, the best trade deal in the history of trade deals. I wonder what uh, Donald T. Ramp thinks about that. One of the best trade deals of all time. We're gonna, we're gonna get trades on the server. We're gonna get cold, Sarah. We're gonna get the trades on the server. My opponent not getting the trades on the server. We're gonna get Henny. My debate opponent, Bader. Hold on, I gotta hold my nose for this. My debate opponent? No, it's not really working. I'm not feeling it today. No. So the spirit isn't in me. It's not the, it's I'll not leave the that to, I'll leave that to Snoma. Yeah. You just gotta pucker your lips a little more. You gotta pucker those lips. The trade deal, unfortunately, has not boosted the economy of red candidates. No. They are looking to be in a recession. It's just Venom Zera. We'll see if the rich get richer in a round like this. We got the smokes. We got the Rushley smoke down. We got the sight cross successful. Molly's into empty territory. Cold Zera. One thing's for sure. You can uh, rely on him playing around a cat smoke mm. in some form or fashion. He'll try. It's like a cat with a laser pointer. You throw that smoke, he's there. He's on it. My thought's like, you got any more of those delivery AKs? I want one. Electronics sticking around to make sure this one doesn't get out of hand. No one sneaks in for a little cheeky, cheeky tap of the bomb. You got to do that down days, I feel. You don't want to be the team that gives up the ninja. Yeah, people be buying kits too on rounds like these. Mm -hmm. Can't be the guy that gives it up. I feel like, I feel like we got to start going for that more in our games. That, that's not, there's no electronics in, in your matchmaking okay. games, so try that. Try and buy a kid on it full eco, mm. and then wait for the bomb to tick down. It's mm. especially good on like Mirage, mm. Ninja Spot, Classic Move. Yeah. On. Well, it's just like any map with a bigger bomb radius. Yep. You, you get those rotates early. People start getting a little aggressive trying to hunt those ecos. Is that your your Hey Future Pro tip? That's my Hey Future Pro tip. Buy a kit on an eco, or just force buy in general. Keep it up. Keep on force buying. It'll work out. Look at this. No respect given for fame? Oh, they should have respected him. They should have respected him. They go out fast along. You've got fame setting up utility for maybe a B exec here. And he's just knocked a head clean off. And also identified further 
aggressors. This might switch up the end goal for VP now that they have this opener because it doesn't seem like they're all that committed to the idea of finishing beat. That's not in the flow chart. No. Mauling your own ankles, not ideal. But... Putting Henny in a really nightmarish position. That is ideal for VP. It's pretty primo. It's also nice that they don't have an op in this round to worry about. And they don't really have any cat presence. Right now the flowchart is if they just hit right in this moment, I don't think there's anything but a save. Really. Yeah. They're going to do the full exec. We've seen this before. We watched Norbert throw this smoke. He's so good at it. We just... Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> Electronic. Electronic got hit by his teammate Smoke. Uh, oh. How do they uh, still have another Smoke, though? They just have infinite just smoke. Just instantly threw someone the... the extra perk. Uh, additional Smoke pockets. Yeah. They're, they're you know, look at the dad smoke. with the utility vest out fly fishing. They just keep pulling out Smoke. Yeah. It's like having a Band-Aid on deck. Sorry, Electronic says, my bad. He tosses another Smoke to his teammate, and then they fix the problem instantly. So maybe Cold Zera gets some exits. I don't really know that VP will be that concerned at this point in time, at this particular juncture. These exits are pretty meh. And losing his gun, not so meh. One for one exchange there, very not so meh for them. Suboptimal. We're just going to make sure no one's ninjing. No one is ninjing. It's all good. VP find five. Money swelling. Cash not so much for the Red Canids. Three guns saved through. They probably buy again. But it does seem like it's kind of cruise control right now for VP. Ooh. That's some quick yapping right there. Yeah, James going to throw it into gear. Some quick yapping. What did they feel was necessary to get that sense of urgency? And already, the game where it feels like VP are throwing on that uh, that cruise control and still winning rounds, they are looking to turn up the heat. Maybe they got a B-spawn. Maybe they got a B-spawn here that they're looking to get after. Not out of the gates, at least, but going to be interested a little later down the line. Oh, and, well, the bottom pillar of the totem pole gets knocked down. Henny able to stand tall for the both of them and keep that catwalk control contained. Essential. Essential. He had to do. Had to deliver. If he drops there, I mean, it's over, certainly. But even if he doesn't get the trade, life is bad. It's very bad, yeah. That's the uh, the flow chart there getting a whole lot easier for VP. Okay, Flit got his two kills. Now what? They got four sets of complete utility right now. Okay. An electronic with a lurk smoke. Just straight targeted for Henny. But he'll pure around. Ballsy from Henny. But massively valuable now to have that information. Ooh, they're flanking long. Oh, they're flanking long. They're flanking long. That, uh, I just, like, that's not a play you get away with often versus VP, right? No. They're going to be prepared for that. Flash is perfect. It's on the money. And call it curtains. It's funny, too, because they were definitely setting up to go for the split and towards B or for the mid to B maneuver, and then they get the kill long, and it's like, well... Oh, that made it easy. I don't think we need to. Yeah. I mean, again, it's not the first time we've seen the protocols. They are very aggressive on this hunt. Mm -hmm. They're going to look to chase down these kills. They're not happy with these saves. Red Cannons, again, it feels like the roles are just reversed so effectively. Trying to save on the CT side, playing it safe. It's a beautiful shot from Jane. Started the round in upper. Oh, boy. Thought he might have had to finish it, but the Jame and Fame combo will do the trick in VP. On to a sixth round. Five in a row. Six of the last seven. Guns came out, and uh, the Kinids are getting hunted. VP, they're, they're up on their fancy outfits on their horseback. They got dogs running alongside them. Shotguns out. Whatever else you do when you're hunting foxes. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, like the fancy fox yeah, hunts. That's, that's, no, they, they send the dogs out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've seen that before in a cartoon or so. I think it was Scooby Doo. <laughs> they have a fox hunt? In yeah, they have a fox hunt. What? The villain. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would make sense. Like yeah. a ghost fox hunter dude. Yeah. I could see that. 
And if it wasn't for these uh, meddling kids, red cannons could maybe win around. Bang! Not on for that shot. Not on for this long control either. Does Nithon oh. want to brute force it? Yeah, he does. And yeah, <laughs> the electronic, he'll take his time with that head shot. He's thinking headshot percentage right there. Poor Norbert. He's trying to play anti-flash and then just gets tri-peaked. <laughs> <laughs> nothing worse than when you're trying to be smart about it and the guy just swings. I mean, I think it's necessary a little bit to play in this sort of fashion for red cannons. Let's just get a little wild with it. I mean, Break down the protocols, point. but VP are so effective at breaking those down, preparing for aggression, that that's not going to work out super well for you. HE opened boxes. the smoke. Did Coltair just go down? Why? Why? He loves these boxes. He can't get enough of the new box. Huh? You can teach... A old dog new tricks, it seems. They don't know he's on site, though. Flick containing so much space. That's a pretty nice bounce on the wall. I don't know if it'll fully cover, though, because the smokes are down. And now it's the CT side that's trying to re-execute into the A-bomb site, and it's not going well for them. Maybe time's becoming an issue, but Davideus, yeah, gets wrapped around the smoke, and... Uh, it's fear. It's a save formulating. I just don't understand the decision from Coldzera there, right? You have the op shifting up to take control. You can also play with him. You just kind of drop it down. It's not It's not the moment that loses them the round. I just don't... I'm not sure I, I get it. Um, yeah. But either way, it is going to be another round in a row for ah, this pro. And it's going to be another gun not saved. Ah, jeez. The Brazilians, they are really not getting much out of this half a Counter-Strike. We, we talked about it in the pregame, right? We built this up. As much as, you know, Virtus Pro might not be in championship form right now, as much as we might not have them pinned as potential title contenders, as much as we still want to see more from this team, well, even a wounded Virtus Pro is a pretty dang good team and one of the hardest teams in the Counter-Strike world to play against when you're an underdog. Yeah, I mean, and again, we talk a lot about the rise of South America. There's a lot of good teams that are coming out, but Red Cannons are just getting their dip in to that kind of talent pool. And, mm. you know, international competition is kind of new for this core of a roster. So, having some struggles. This is the half in, half out. A little bit of action. A little bit of juice. Not a lot of it. Can't say I'm a believer in this buy. But let's see. They need something weird to work out. It will not be this round. David's just ticking in the molly, so there's fully a tune to his location. Electronic will send him back in. They just don't fumble, man. Nah. VP against these kind of buys, against this kind of team, they do not fumble. Oh, it's your first, you know, European tour with this roster? Good. We will be making it a nightmare. Yeah, this is the last team. Eh, maybe not right now. Again, I feel like I, I give VP a lot of credit for, for comfortability, but I, I think VP has also been upset by rosters recently that they wouldn't like to. But e either way, like it's not going to be the case. Not right now, at least. And hey, I mean, look, it's early returns in the reign of Pashanoi in the coaching slot. I didn't see anyone standing behind them, though. I don't know if we can... Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah. Huh. Actually, I don't know if there's anyone in the coaching chair right now. I don't know if we can get the, uh, yeah. Oh. Huh. Maybe he wrote up the, uh, the paper. Maybe he was the one, he's still at the printer. He is the analyst. At this point, like, just bring back Dostan, right? If he's still technically part of the, I don't know, maybe, maybe the feelings aren't great there. I, I, it was a weird, it was a weird end. I think, what was the chance? Game quote, even the greatest, strongest of relationships must be destroyed in pursuit of victory. Something insanely intense like that. Speaking of James, bada bing, bada boo, goodbye, Davideus. Coldzera in trouble. Coldzera, one for one. Henny at least brings something back. Henny, here we go. Here's a little life. Inject some energy back into this game. Fame Ouch. will be taking all of that energy, and he will be headshot, as he is so wont to do. Henny burning. Ooh. He churning. Shot missed. You won't get another. Fame don't miss. 
So Venom Zera in the clutch, not even to get the opportunity. It's nine rounds, eight in a row. And we'll be back. Virtus Pro have their boot on the throat of the Red Canids, and they are not letting them up. Not at all. 80 rounds in a row to close that half. Nine of the last 10. And it is merciless from VP as they look to move on here in the opening round of their ESL Pro League campaign. Starting it off strong and ending that last half with a good laugh is a terrifying sign for Red Canids as they have faced very little struggle. Although the pistols have been a bit of a strong suit for Red Canids. I think they've won two so far. They're looking to make it three. Let's see what they can do. Yeah, there we go. Got a little bit of block in there. In the uh, <laughs> yeah, this read. look at this read, they're keeping three players in. Oh, electronics gonna head a bit. 
Okay, this is gonna get real weird. He's dead, surely? Yes, okay. So the duel is the push in, but flit. Oh god. An assist from Venom Zera, and now just bottlenecked in towards tunnels. They're getting chewed up. Cold Zera can do nothing on the lurk. And so it will fall to his teammates who cannot deliver either double digits on. The opener matters not at all if you can respond like that. Electronic is just the, the death that baits them into the execute. It speeds them up. It makes sure that they are, they want to go into this B bomb site. They just took care of the dual Beretta's. There's no duelies on B. What a relief. But instead, it's the whole squad of VP that come crashing down on you. And while Electronic is one big name to take down. Oh, I got some details as well. Because yes, of right. the timing of Pachanoi being announced as the coach, he wasn't on the roster for EPL roster lock, okay. so he can't stand behind them. There you go. Shoutouts to Note for letting us get the info in the DMs. With the quickness. Always got the information. Well, the, the NA showdown ended very early. It did. It did. I actually can't believe it. M80 with oh. the 2-0. Look at me, Ricky, he said. Look at me, Ricky. And right now, Norbert says, Look at me, Davideus! Look at me! Can you imagine that banter coming out from VP? Uh, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't want to. That'd be terrifying. Shout out to the lake. Launders land legend right there. Yeah, I mean, an alumni. Straight from the camp. Of Launders Lane. Look at me feels like it's like a mi mix of a couple different hard quotes, right? Like, is he the captain now? Is he the danger? I think it's just knowing how timid complexity get when they get losing. Oh, right. They just they're 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 a little bit of they're looking at their feet, man. And then you got a guy like Lake coming out there, popping off. Mm. He's just, it's its literally, it's the Chad head. versus versus the, the Virgin meme. It's Lake yelling at Ricky. Uh, oh. Yelling at Floppy. Ricky being Floppy for anyone who doesn't know. Yeah, yeah. They certainly know each other. They certainly played against each other and with each other in all sorts of games, I'm sure. Uh, but it is it is a little bit of that meme. <laughs> the Virgin likes to play versus <laughs> the Chad M80. Oh. They got got. Uh, gonna be a disappointing one for Complexity. I mean, they they feel like they're in a bit of a spiral and they gotta snap out of it. We know what they can do. They just haven't done it in a while. Yeah. It's been about a year now. No. They just won Yonchiping. Oh, yeah. That is fair. They did win Yonchiping. They won a trophy. First trophy for the org since 2020. They won something in 2020? Uh, an online oh, okay. um, uh, yeah. blast event. Play math. That was the era where we had no lands. Fame and Flit connecting. Fame looking to put this one away. Ooh, he's not quite able to do so. And hold on, Coldzera. Coldzera impact. Gives Davi Davideus a chance, at least. But it has to be the Davi Davideus pop off. He's going to run him down. He's got no time. He's got no time. Spam on the door. Yeah, okay. They didn't even have to go through, actually. He has lost this round. And now they chase him after time. He gets clocked. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ah, no money. No money for you, Davideus. No chance here. Map point found, and there is just no mercy in the hearts of Virtus Pro. <laughs> it's just going to be a brutal way to, to go out as well. David trying to pull through in a clutch. There's no uh, guardian angel for in this series. It's just VP. And they're just looking to dominate. And the perfect HE to chunk down everyone's HP. It is Norbert that has to get out in a flash. Successful. But look at the damage that he does, does already. I mean, it, it's so valuable. And he's committed so little to it. Sure, he's conceded long control, but setting his team up for success again. And they got more utility. The cross is going to be miserable. If they ever make it, it looks like it's not, because oh now it's James oh setting boy. flashes Norbert up for Norbert. Ace. He's looking to close it out with confidence. The ace won't be given, but VP will be converting. It is a confident win for them out of the gates here.
That is an absolute smackdown. That's how you dispatch of an upset as the favorite. That's how you put all the doubts out of our minds. Look, I don't know that we found anything massively out about this Virtus Pro, but what we did find is that they are who we thought.